Well, it's that time of year, so I thought I would give you a Christmas card idea. I don't know if you're all familiar with the song, The Twelve Days of Christmas. I'm sure you are, and it starts off, On the first day of Christmas my true love gave to me A partridge in a pear tree. So, that's what I'm going to do, a partridge in a pear tree. If you don't know the song, do look it up, it's rather fun. So what I've got here, you probably can't see it yet because I've started off with very light marks. I'm going to have a pot with a miniature pear tree in it and a partridge in the middle. Now the partridge I think is pretty universal. It's a game bird. Um, they're quite tiny actually, people do eat them. But to be honest I can't see the first because there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of lot of work for very little meat. Now he's quite a big bird because you've got to be able to see him so we let's give him a nice chunky breast. They are predominantly grey so that's why I've decided just to put a grey first coat on and I'm just going to dab it off because that's a little darker than I wanted. Okay so while that's drying off I'm going to just put the trunk in. I'm using raw umber and that's going to go down here somewhere, okay, into a pot. Is that raw umber? No, it isn't. But this is. I think that was burnt umber. Never mind. There we go. And I'm just going to put um, a bit of, um, uh, just make it look a little bit interesting, as if it really is a tree, not just a, a big lollipop. There we go, and into the pot. So now I want a pot and I'm going to use a terracotta colour. You can see that I'm using up bits and pieces in my paint box. Maybe it's that time of the year when I should give it a good old clean. Right, let's stick a pot underneath it. I'm not being too precious about this, just have a little bit of fun. And as I say with lots of things, if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it's only a piece of paper. I'm just going back to the Venetian red just to drop a bit of a dark, a bit of colour in. It's quite a nice creamy terracotta. Uh, I suppose the light's going to come that way. I haven't quite decided yet. I don't think it matters really on this. It's really academic. Okay, a bit more colour. Okay, that's that. Rinse my brush off. Now I'm going to have a few pairs, pears, sorry, on my tree. So I'm going to go in and just put a nice strong yellow in. And I think I'm going to sneeze in a minute. So if I do, excuse me. Well, these are funny shaped pears. All sorts of. They're a particular pair actually, they're, um, they're the species Nicola and we'll have a bit of green on them. Oh, that's worked out quite nice actually. Let's drop it in, there we go. We don't want them too green because we're going to have green leaves aren't we, so let's take a bit out. And we'll have a, make them a bit pinkier, you know sometimes you get those sort of are they called Russia pears or something? Oops, a bit too bright. Oh, one extreme to the other. There we go. Okay, that will do for now. Let's just take a little bit off that. Okay, now I'm going to put some leaves in. And I'm going to do this now because I want things to dry. And what I'm going to do is I'm using a number seven brush and I'm going to put, as I usually do with my foliage, a sort of blob of green. Let's make it a bit brighter. Because I want some leaves in front of the partridge and behind. Okay. And then, not quite so wet, and I'm going to use the, the brush, as I often suggest, dear creative chums, 
to use the brush. So now, if you want bigger leaves, use bigger brush. It's as simple as that. And before that dries off with a hard line, And I might even put a few branches in as well. We'll see how this goes. So we've got a few leaves in front of the partridge. So he looks as if he's sitting in inside the tree rather than as he looked plonked on top. Right, I'm going to let that dry off for a couple of minutes and then we can go to the next stage. OK, that has dried off a bit more and of course I couldn't resist fiddling, could I, whilst I was waiting. So I've put more colour on that side of the pot so effectively the light, if it's, if it's of any consequence, is coming from that direction and a vague bit of a shadow. Right, let's put something on this bird. Um, I think quails are fairly universal in, in what they look like. Um, they have a, a brown, a browner body. So let's just uh, get a few. I think they've got like, um, oh, I did look at a picture. A bit of a crest thingy there. They have a line through the eye. There are some stripy bits coming down here, so let's just put these in. This is um, like the pear um, type, this is a Nicola partridge. And then we've got these sort of bits. Okay, that will probably suffice. Where's my bit of... I always have a bit of that handy. And there's a sort of... Um, was there a sort of a reddy colour? could get the picture up in front of me, of course. OK, just wet that out and just... I will tweak it in the final stage, but it's just something to get us started. Let's give it a little beak. It's always a good start. OK, that'll do for now. And I'm going to give it some feet. There, there, that's where the feet will be. Might need to change the colour, it's too much like the branch. OK, so let's go back to these pears a bit. Let's put a bit more colour on them. A bit more of the yellow, I think, and just, just tidy up. You can see the pencil mark through. I wasn't that thorough in getting it off. So just go round there a bit more. Just move that colour about a bit, just to make it a bit more shaped. Hopefully people will realise that these are pears on a pear tree. And a partridge in a pear tree. Then on the second day of Christmas, my true love sent to me two turtle doves along with a partridge in a pear tree. Then on the third day of Christmas, my true love sent to me three French hens. Right, some more green. Okay, let's go brighter, just to brighten it up a bit. You can, of course, make this as big or as small as you like. I just thought I'd do it this size. You could make it squatter. Okay, let's come in this way with a few leaves. And then we can go darker. We want some variation, remember. Oops wrong green. That was hookers. And it's not what you're thinking. Right, here we go. Right, that's a bit better. And 
and continue more of the same. So I'm going to continue with this. I shall finish it off camera. You don't want to sit and watch me dab away, I'm sure. And I'll tweak around with the partridge and then I will post the final painting. So there's a nice little idea for you for a Christmas card.